My name is Emil Hermeni Horses. I'm a curator here at the National Museum of the American Indian in Washington, D.C. For the Lakota, we have uh, one spiritual being called the double-faced woman or the double woman design. People who dreamed of this were then gifted with uh, the ability to do great artwork. Um, but there's also a negative side to it too. So the idea of this mythical uh, figure was the fact that you choose to do good. You choose to do your artwork for the benefit of the people when I look at a piece of beadwork or traditional beadwork, knowing the color combinations, knowing what kind of beads were used at that period, we can actually kind of date a piece. And you'll see combinations such as black, red, yellow, and white, which represents the four directions. For the Lakota, when we talk about the four directions, it's, it's not just directional, but it also represents animal nations, human stages of life, seasons, so it's all encompassed in that. And you'll see a lot of that represented in the beadwork and the different artwork that people do. So today there's a lot of new colors, new beads that are introduced. So when you're out there doing a dance competition, it sparkles and it draws the attention of judges. It happens on the reservation at an alarming rate that many of the elders who had the all this knowledge are passing away and so the men have had to, to kind of pick up doing some of these traditional arts such as beadwork and flowwork. The artwork that I do, it ranges from doing miniatures, traditional dolls, and I've recently started doing some, some quill work, porcupine quill work, um, and it is all following the traditions of the Lakota. This piece here is a miniature teepee. What I did here, it's to represent my last name, Her Many Horses, which derives from one of my great-great-grandmothers, her name was Tashunke Otawi, which means many horses woman. Historically, we show warrior societies. I created these dolls to be uh, pretty much the honor guard. You'll see that in many of the ceremonies as you travel around uh, Indian country, that the, the veterans are the new warrior societies today, and they're very honored. I think one of the important things is that 100 years from now, I want people to see what we did today and what we have incorporated into our, our beadwork and, and our tradition.